Hi guys, Karen Visueta, how are you? So today we are going to be doing a full body dumbbell and glider workout. So what you're gonna need is a medium to heavy set of dumbbells, a set of gliders or a towel, or if you're on carpet, you can use a magazine cover. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna challenge ourselves today, bending the knees here. Let's start to roll the shoulders back, nice and controlled. Think of a tall and strong posture. We have four more and three. Last two, and give me one more. Take a nice tall breath up, noticing your length, and exhale to release. Let's do that one more time. Take a nice big inhale. This time on your exhale, we're gonna bring the arms down, flat back, draw the nail to spine as you round, and release, good. Let's take this all the way up, shoulders down and back, and come to a squat, warming up those legs. All right, remember to listen to your body, adjust your load when you need, and also that means challenge yourself, right? So if you need a heavier load, guys, pick up that 10, 12, 20 pound dumbbell and challenge yourself. Let's add a pulse here, down. One, two, three, and come up, good. Chest is tall, booties down, again. Three, two, listen to my change, single squat, adding a knee. Knee comes up, right knee, balance on top, good. Lifting up that knee, standing tall. You got four more. And four, this is changing. Three, two, now slow the squat down a little bit. Hip circle, squat down, open it up. Low, and circle that hip, good. If you're a little tight in the hip, make these smaller or lower. Four more, three, two, and one, now hold that right knee up, bring it right to the back. Listen, lunge position, down and rise, legs to 90. Now we're gonna add a little overhead reach. Press up, fire through that front leg. Good guys, four more, four, three, two here, two, last one. Hold this one down, hands behind the head, draw the belly in, twist to that bent knee and center, seven, Six, think of that waistline. Five, elbows wide. Four, three, two more. Two, last one. Come all the way back, opposite leg, come down and up. We're gonna lower down, rise up, reach, good. Lift it up, six more here. Six, five, we getting warmed. Four, three, show me two more. Last one, hands behind the head, lower down, core strong, elbows wide. Twist to the bent knee, center. Seven, take your time. Six, make sure you're not pressing on that head or neck. Four more, four, three, two, how are we doing? One, take that in, coming to a squat position, chest tall, floor, chest, lift. Now you're gonna add a little heel rise, finishing up this warm up. Lifting the heels, four more, three, two, and one. All right guys, so we're going through each exercise, 45 seconds with about a 20 second transition, active rest in between, getting you to the next exercise. So grab your heavy set of dumbbell, get it ready. I'm gonna set my timer here, chest tall. We're going to a squat, yes, a lunge, and press on the way up, all right? Get ready, lower to the chest, and go. Squat, left leg back, lift up, add that press. Go again, down, lunge, on the way up you lift. Let's go, squat, lunge, and press, good. Lower, bring that leg back to 90, fire through that front leg. Squat, lunge, press, again. Down, reverse, lift it up. Get the butt lower, keep that chest up. We're still breathing. How are we doing? Come back, lift it up again. Down, almost to the end. Lift, squat, lunge, and recover. Good job, guys. All right, shake that one out. Exercise two, medium to heavy load again. You're gonna come down bicep curl, and lift, all right? Water whenever you need, get ready. You're staying down in that sumo. Get set, 
Go, down, curl, lift. So I want you to get low here. You're curling without any movement, holding that isometric sumo squat position. Chest tall, curl it up. Make sure your load is challenging, right? Controlling the movement. Keep the elbows into the side rib cage. Nice job, guys. Go, go, go. Down, curl it up, lift, lower, curl, rise. Think about like you're pressing the inner thighs together, pressing and separating that floor underneath you. Down, curl as you stand up tall, lower, almost to the finish. Keep going and recover. Nice job, guys. All right, how do we do? Next set, this one, option one, no dumbbell. You're gonna go two jacks, hold, squat, back to center. Two jacks, squat, all right? Option two, you can add a lighter load. Make sure you have control of that. Are we ready? Get set, go. Two jacks, arms are front. One, two, load to the chest, butt down, center. One, two, squat. One, two, sit it low, good. One, two, butt down. All right, you have complete control of that weight to the chest before you go into that squat. Nice job, guys. Looking good. Keep that posture nice and tall. Those legs should be waking up. Down. Square the hips off, get the butt down. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Way to work. All right, we're coming down to the floor for some mountain climbers. Everybody good? Keep that water close. We're gonna add a climbing knee, knee, and a pause. You can do this without the gliders. Palms under shoulders. Knees under hips. Are we ready? Go. Knee, knee, and a hold. Let's go. Knee, knee, pause it out. All right, you can pick up that tempo. Go a little quicker. Knee, knee, and pause. Pulling that in. Or you can always hold plank. Let's go. Knee, knee, and pause. You're moving. And pause. Feel those legs, the core. Pick it up. Good, good. Go. Keep going, 15 seconds guys. You're not stopping. Quick workout, super efficient. Let's go, four, three, how are we doing? Two, and one. Quads are burning, I don't know about you. We're coming back up, grab your load. Row to tricep kick back, medium load here. All right, I'll show you the side view. Core is in, you're gonna row, kick, bend, return. All right, so challenging yourself, protecting the low back more, you go to a split stance. Get ready guys, get set, go. We got the row, kick, bend, and return. Row, kick, bend, you got it. Row, kick. I want that full extension of the tricep, keeping your neck long, Good, core is super strong. Fire those arms to straighten. There we go, think back of those arms. Core pulling in, nice and tight. Row, about 15 seconds. Starting to feel this now. Legs may be burning, guys, right? We did some leg work, now we're holding that squat. Go to the end, you got it. Keep going, think back triceps, and recover. Nice job. All right, back to your gliders. We're going into pikes. You lift the legs up to a high V from the abdominals, from the hips. Now, first option, if that feels too much, knees are in, yes? Pikes, you make that big V, control the way down, and we don't want to sag. All right, we got 45 seconds. Listen to your body. Get ready. Go, core is in. Pike it up. Control the movement down. Pike it up. Control. Neck is long. 
A lot of core work going on here. A lot of upper body work. Go, go, go. You have it, guys. Push. How are we doing? Almost to the end. Keep going. Push here. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Rest, recover, nice job. All right, we got two more exercises. We're coming back to stand. If you have two sets, grab your lighter load. We're forward lunging, positioning, split lunge, reversing that fly, all right? Get ready, get set, go. Right leg steps to me, bend. You're gonna reverse your fly, step it back. Left leg, back leg is straight, stay supported, come back to stand. 45 seconds on the clock. You have this, guys, let's go. Bend, fly, bring it up. Bend, fly, bring it up. Good, good, good. To the finish. Nice. Go, go. Actually, we got two more exercises after this. Two more, I think I said. Two total, we had three. All right, the next two are core based. Let's go, and last one. Shake it out. All right, way to work, guys. Ready for a little challenge. We're gonna be on the mat for army crawls. So you need the gliders to your feet. Set up that mat. Nice and long. We're gonna be in a forearm plank position. Down on the mat. Forearms are down. We're gonna climb. And you're gonna add a tap. And then you're gonna climb and add a tap with the opposite arm. One tap only. 45 seconds on the clock. Options modifications, just hold that plank if that feels too much. Kill a core right here. Let's go. Climb it. Once you get to the end, tap. If it works. Climb it back, let's go. Pull up that core, opposite arm, tap, little reach. You're moving, you're moving. Good job, guys. Push. Squeezing under those armpits. That belly should be turning on. No choice now, right? Let's go. Push to the end, stay long. Woo, how we doing? 10 seconds, this feels like five minutes, right? All right, go, go, go. Climb to the end, four, three, two, rest. Nice job, we're staying right down here for your last set. Going into some sliders for our hamstrings. Option one, you can be right there, all right? If you're protecting the low back more. Option two, your hips are up. Get ready. Draw the belly, option one, you're ready. Option two, fire the glutes, out and in. Think about the hamstrings, small range, hip bones, pubic bones, stay in that same line. All right, we don't wanna change any position there. Pull it in, pull it in. Go, go, go. Those hamstrings are feeling it. That booty is feeling it. You're also working your core on this one, right? Remember, core is a lot more than crunches. In fact, planks are working that core much better, right? Thinking of that length, thinking of the whole back and belly together. Finish to the end, you got about five seconds. Pull it in, three more. How are we feeling in that lower body? And guys, rest that down. So, do me a favor, if you have a little more time, I want you to skip the warm up, and you're gonna repeat this sequence from exercise one, your squat lunge to press, one or two more times. If that's all the time you have for today, guys, make sure to cool it down, grab some water. You guys did awesome. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you also subscribe to Workout Hotel because I post new videos every Saturday, 7 a.m. You guys are awesome. Let me know how you like this one. I will see you next week. Take care.